I just want to say something to more plates, more dates. Listen, I have nothing against you. Yeah. I understand that you're an expert in the field. I am not. But I'm certainly an expert in my own life. Andrew Tate is calling out Derek, and I'm assuming he must have watched the entire video. You'd think he's calling him out, makes a video talking about Derek, and yet he doesn't talk about what Derek actually said in the video. Coach Greg, and in today's video, Andrew Tate calls out Derek more plates, more dates. And what is he calling him out about? Well, Derek made a video on Andrew five months ago, and for some reason he must have just watched it, and says Derek is calling him a fake natty, that he must have been on steroids, testosterone, HRT, or something, and Andrew Tate's betting $50,000 with anyone, Derek or anyone else, to try and prove that he's a fake natty. He says, I'll take any test anywhere, you name the place, you name the test, and I will take it, and I'm going to prove that I'm natural. Any test you name with any doctor, USDC, USDA, the best doctor that tests my hemoglobin, see the size of my ball sack, we'll do it all. And so what happened is Andrew Tate showed his blood work and he says, this proves I'm natural. So many people have accused him of being a fake natty because, well, check out his physique. The guy is shredded, has full six back, lots of muscle, yet he trains at home and he doesn't take training seriously. This is a pretty fucking solid physique for a guy who's natty and just like drinks fucking scotch and like drives supercars. Uh, again though, the guy trains hard. I don't know what his diet's like, but he's like, you know, a genetically blessed dude. And so is Derek right? Or is Andrew Tate right? Well, today I'm going to tell you who is in the right and who is in the wrong. We're gonna do a $50,000 bet. We'll put the money in escrow in Bitcoin, $50,000 each. And I will do any test you name with any doctor. And so there you have it. He's willing to bet $50,000 that he'll pass any test. And here's the thing. If he's making that bet now, I'm betting that he is in fact natural right now. Right now he is. There is no test you can take right now to prove your lifetime natty. And so Derek is specifically commenting on the blood work that Andrew Tate's post in the past, of which the test said the age of the person is 28. It's kind of suspicious as Andrew Tate is 35 years of age. And so why does a test say he's 28? That's a little sus. When you have a test and it says you're 28 years old, and then you show the results, and the results, I'll talk about them, they're out of whack. Of course they are. I do think that what he has posted has completely kind of like done the opposite of helped reinforce what he's trying to prove here. And so let's go over and explain to you why it appears that he was a fake natty at the time of the test. Perhaps he took this test when he was 28, and he decided to show it now. And so look at his physique right now, as in today. At this moment, in comparison to what it was in the past, does he look as good right now as he did back then? I'm going to argue that he looked more impressive months, years ago than he does right now. And so is it not possible that he was taking PDs, HRT, testosterone, you name it, and that he looked in his prime condition, but that since then he's decided to stop and that he no longer has quite the physique that he once had. And so what is his total testosterone? 648. And so that absolutely does not indicate that the guy is taking anything. Free testosterone, 648. That is not out of whack. That's perfectly normal in the normal reference range. But the free testosterone, the one that your body's actually going to use, the reference range stops at 28. And guess what he had? 43. That is 1.5 times the maximum of being normal. And in comparison, his total testosterone, it's only 648. And so why is it that a guy with normal testosterone has really elevated free testosterone, the kind that your body can use? Well, I'll tell you how. SHBG. It binds to the testosterone, makes it unavailable. If you have lower SHBG, then you're going to have more free tests that you can use. And so he very well could be injecting regular HRT, perhaps 100, 150 milligrams a week once a week and have normal testosterone levels, but have elevated free testosterone levels, then that would explain exactly what he's doing, that he's not natural, that he's on HRT. And so let's use myself as an example. I'm on 140 milligrams of HRT a week. I do 100 milligrams every five days. My regular testosterone, the total test, it's in the 700s, totally normal. But 
my free testosterone, the kind that my body is actually using, it's above the normal reference range. And so despite the fact that I have a normal total testosterone, my free testosterone is high, exactly as we're seeing with Andrew Tate. And so Andrew Tate very well could be on HRT and it would show these exact results. And so you have to ask, why did he not show FSH and LH, follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone? That would indicate if they were very low that he's getting his testosterone exogenously from somewhere else, perhaps from an injection. And if we saw that, we could then say, probably on something. But if his FSH and LH were in the normal range, probably gonna be natural. And so when people try to show their results, to prove they're natural, why are they not showing all the results? They're showing one result, testosterone. Look, it's not too high, and so I'm natural. No, you're not, that doesn't prove anything. I just wanna say something to more plates, more dates. Listen, I have nothing against you. Yeah. I understand that you're an expert in the field, I'm not, but I'm certainly an expert in my own life. He's calling him out, makes a video talking about Derek, and yet he doesn't talk about what Derek actually said in the video. Derek speculates, he gives you his opinion, he gives you both sides of the story, both sides of the equation. He doesn't say, Andrew Tate's a fake natty, what an asshole. He literally, in the video, says, I believe that Andrew Tate is natural. I do actually think he's natural. However, I do think that what he has posted done the opposite of help reinforce what he's trying to prove here. And so Andrew Tate makes a video to prove that he's natural. And in the video, what it does is it shows that he's more likely on HRT than natural. And so if you're a betting man, if it's a 50-50 chance, you're going to bet on what the greater odds are. And when you see anyone's blood work that looks like this, you should go all in and say, probably not natural. Either that or he's obese, has fatty liver disease, has a horrible diet and things are going wrong with him. But does the guy look like he's suffering from obesity or that he has something wrong with him? I don't think so. He looks like a high level athlete. And so it's more likely that when you look amazing and you have elevated testosterone levels, that you're probably taking testosterone. And keep in mind, with only one test, it doesn't accurately show you the total picture. How do we know he didn't stay up all night drinking, partying, and went and got his blood work done the next day? We don't know that. Only Andrew himself knows that, and it's very easy for him to make a bet, $50,000 if you can prove that I'm fake natty, because how are we really gonna prove it? Adesanya made the same bet except it was millions of dollars. Anyone that can prove I'm a fake natty, get to give me millions of dollars. Three million dollars for anyone who can ever find any concrete evidence that I've been using performance enhancing drugs. And let's be honest, does it not hurt his credibility when it says the age of the participant that did the test that they were 28? For example, if Jeff Cavalier said, hey, I want to prove that I'm natural and he showed us his blood work and it said on it, age 28. Would you not say, well, aren't you in your 40s, Jeff? That test may be from 15 plus years ago. It doesn't really indicate if you're natural now. And so I think it's perfectly reasonable for Derek to have made all the conclusions he made and that Andrew Tate, he's just trying to get views. And what is wrong with that? The more controversy, the better. And so Andrew Tate has a lot of good information. He speaks well, but he also has a lot of drama, a lot of hate in his videos, especially about women. But my personal opinion is he doesn't actually think like this in the real world, that he's putting on a show. He's an actor similar to Nick Accato Avocado. I don't think that in the real world, he actually thinks all the things he's saying. I think he's ramping up his personality, making him seem more outlandish, more wild, more crazy, more alpha in order to have more people talk about him. And so right now, Andrew Tate, likely the most talked about guy on YouTube, everyone's talking about him. And so what he's doing, it's clearly working. But if he wants to prove that he's natural, you can't just show one simple test. And even if you do show multiple tests now, it doesn't prove that you're natural in the past. But based on my opinion, I do believe he's actually natural. The guy was a world champion athlete in the past. Gifted athlete, superior genetics, clearly. And so I do think that even with drinking alcohol and training at home, that he could absolutely get a physique like that. Calories in, calories out. The guy's lean has a six pack. And so when you're lean, you're gonna look a little bit better, a little bit bigger than you really are. I don't think he's got a ton of muscle, just enough. And because he's cut, he looks great.
Doesn't prove he's natural. Sure, he might have been HRT. We just don't know. Based on this test, he or whoever did this test at the time, probably on HRT, but we'll never know. So let me know in the comment section, do you believe he's natural? Do you think he was on HRT? What do you think of having such high free testosterone levels? And so there's my first video in the new house. Hope you enjoyed it. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset IBB Pro. Please check out the bloops. And of course, the HRT supplements all behind here. Training books, cookbooks, coaching plans by me and my team. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. And until next time, I am out.